Yeah, we're rolling. Okay, we're at Westfield High School in January in Indiana, and uh, we've found shore power, which is always a uh, an objective early in the overall setup process. If we were unable to find it, we would have fired a generator. We have a two kilowatt generator that's propane based, built into the truck, but always better to get shore power if possible. Fortunately, it's only 35 degrees. Uh, a couple weeks ago, it was zero and a little chilly in here. We uh, get heat through a, a second electrical connection if we can find it or often we just let the truck idle. The objective now at about uh, 4 o'clock is to power everything up. We're going to be using five personal computers tonight to produce this, to record it, do instant replay, do all the character graphics generation. So it's very important that PCs boot and although four hours from tip may seem like a long time, you never know. And we do carry one extra of just about everything. To explain a little bit about the power configuration, the shore power feeds a 2,000 watt onboard pure sign inverter. The inverter alone can actually power the truck for up to an hour. The inverter then feeds an uninterruptible power supply. So there's several layers of filtering and battery backup that will hopefully keep us on the air all the way through. So we'll get going and uh, try to get stuff powered up here. Okay, that's it. The VT5 is up, a new tech product, which is essentially a television studio in a box. This guy is the, the brains behind the entire operation. We've probably shot, I'm going to guess, a thousand games with new tech VT3, 4, and 5 products. This is kind of cool. The other computer that's important is our character graphics generator made by Compex Media. This is the device that will bring all of the various um, lower thirds up, who's shooting a free throw, what the current score is names of sponsors. I press a button, the graphic will come up right here as an example. Although that's not the game tonight. I have to actually build the graphics. We've got four hours now to get going and uh, the boys will be here shortly. Four cameramen, three announcers, two in the truck, one on grips. I did my math right, that's ten. Ten to do what you might think is a small high school basketball game live in the state of Indiana. But you can be subjective about small high school basketball in Indiana because when you see this venue tonight packed it's just the way it's always been here on a Friday night in Indiana. Basketball is alive and well. Let's go over the door and start. Pack dressing out. Just see. Oh, some Velcro. Oh, 
I actually enjoy it, 
because of the pressure. Uh, I've always enjoy, enjoyed pressure environments because you make a mistake, there's a whole lot of people hurt your mistakes and you can't erase it. But it's the pressure, the fun, and, 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 and this crew's worked together for a long time so everybody has a comfort level of doing live. And I think that's what makes Hometown Sports so special because the people have worked together for so long with, uh, with Roy and, and of course, uh, Rick producing and one or two or three of the different directors, of course, working with Greg and, and Jerry. Uh, flow is everything when you work with the same people. And when you do an occasional game and you work with somebody different, it, you, you can notice sometimes because you don't know when they want you to start or stop. So the fact that we have a veteran crew, we're so comfortable working together, I think it really shows on the, on the productions, I really do. texture, color, and price. Don't be charging me 250 or you get automatically denied. Hey, get away those, from those are fighting words, Alan. Now, but for you, Alan, I'd share. But this short of that, people don't understand how serious hot dogs are to this crew. I know, I'm this is more serious, actually, than the game, but we keep it a top secret thing. Rick, talk about the ritual of Jan with his hot dog. Well, I shouldn't be eating with my mouth, well, but I <laughs> do will. But I'll speak with my mouth full. Jan Bozier gives away an award every year to the best hot dog. Last year, Hamilton Southeastern was the winner. I think this year, Lauren Central, I think to quote you, they had the Ruth Chris of dogs. They did. Westfield tonight. Very, very nice. Good hot dog, good texture, but a B, just a B. Uh, they'll be in the top 10, only because we love Westfield. Go 
Okay, Doug, talk a little bit about uh, the microwave setup we have tonight. Well, what we have tonight is we're going to link back up to our transmitter location up at Ditch Road. Um, it's primarily what we use for the north side remotes, uh, ones we won't hit downtown with. We have two transmitter or, uh, microwave locations, uh, the transmitter site being one of them and the station being one as well. Now, how many trucks does Channel 13 have? We have two satellite trucks, one of which will do microwave. Uh, we have a smaller suburban type microwave truck that does digital or analog. We have two trucks that are just like this that are getting ready to be converted to fully digital trucks that are digital and analog. And then we have uh, one other smaller van that does both digital and analog. Okay, Greg, tell us, uh, tell us your role here tonight and what you normally do. All right, uh, normally what I do is, is, is the play-by-play, -play, but on Friday nights I uh, gracefully step aside to allow Jerry Baker to come in and do our play-by-play -play for our Operation Basketball. So I get the job of being the world's ugliest sideline reporter. I'm like Tony Siragusa for high school sports uh, on Friday nights, and honestly, I enjoy it. I, I like doing something different. Doing play-by-play -play never gets old, but I kind of like the creative challenge of, of being the third man in and, and trying to add something as opposed to just repeating or trying to top something that Jerry or Jan said. So it's, it's one of the things that I enjoy about doing sideline. It's something that I haven't done probably about seven or eight years until this year. So it's been a lot of fun so far. Typically, what's the sideline guy do? Sideline guy is there to kind of just add some additional flavor, point out people that are in the crowd, do some quick interviews. One of the great things that we do with it is that we're going to grab a coach going off the floor at halftime. We're going to grab the other coach coming out of his team's locker room. We're going to interview the winning coach and interview the vibe of the game. So it, it, it gives you that extra added flavor being talked to the coach and able to talk to the student athletes. And with two great student sections like we're going to have here tonight with Westfield and Noblesville, we'll probably do a feature on each one of those student sections and kind of show you about some of the craziness that will go on in, uh, in this Hamilton County rivalry. Hey, First uh, got involved with Rick and Hometown Sports Indiana back uh, a couple of years ago. We were doing the uh, girls softball state finals, and uh, it was one of those days where it rained and it rained, and then when it got finished, it rained some more. So we got to know each other over about a 14-hour day, in which we had about a half a game in. That's why I first came in contact with Rick and the rest of the gang at Hometown Sports. The uh, the, the games themselves uh, are, are just terrific to do with the crew that we have here because it's all the individuals who love the sport and you're not getting guys who's coming in for a buck, but they actually they got a kick out of doing the games. And you like going around to the various schools around the around the central part of Indiana, meeting the various coaches and ADs and principals, superintendents and things of that nature. So it's a terrific opportunity to get involved with the kids and see their enthusiasm. Uh, my background, of course, goes back up. Uh, I think uh, James Naismith and I, who invented the game, uh, we grew up. <laughs> it always seems like I get that question. Uh, I've been doing the high school basketball games for, well, I don't know, over 30 years, I guess, state championships, games of the week, things of that nature, going way back to the days of uh, Tom Carnegie when he was working with Channel 6 and doing games and just uh, various and sundry uh, games over the years. State finals, of course, are the, are the highlight of any broadcaster's career to be able to do the state finals in boys uh, and girls basketball. And I go back to the single class when you had the, the two semifinal games in the afternoon of the state championship game that night. So, and now we're in the, the class system, so there, there are four games. As far as preparation is concerned, I, I've always felt that preparation is the ultimate to do a game, no matter whether it's a, a JV game, a high school game, a college game, professional game, I approach them all the same way. Uh, I spend a lot of time preparing, and a lot of times the game is over, you look down at your notes and you go, man, I, just, I, I meant to do this or I meant to do that. And that's fine, because what that means is that the game itself was good enough that you didn't have to work hard to, to, to telecast the game. That may seem strange to if you're not doing the job, but you prepare for a 
a situation where the game is not very good or something happens. I did a, a number of games uh, with Joe Sexton, uh, who was the Butler basketball coach. He was a Mr. Basketball and all of that. And Joe and I worked uh, together for a number of years. Joe always kind of made fun of me because I had all my notes and I've got this and I've got that. And he just kind of showed up. But he had basketball knowledge, and we could get by with that. So one day he, he was uh, saying to me, he said, I don't know why you do all this work. So my comment back to him was, if one of those baskets comes down, this is back before the breakaway rims, how long does it take to repair a basket, a, a basketball goal? And he said, well, I don't know, a half hour, something like that. And I said, okay, what are you going to talk about? And it was like a little light went on in his head. He said, oh. I, I think I understand now. So, so the preparation, uh, the, the ideal preparation is when you do it all and you don't use it, or you do use it and people don't realize that you have used it. So it's, it's a fun thing to do. I love preparation almost as much as I do doing the telecast itself. So, And as long as I'm around good people, like the, the crew with Hometown Sports Indiana, I'm in great shape. That's what you do. You negotiate with the fans. The place is packed. They're all standing. It's a huge game. Oh, by the way, one thing I do want to mention. If you still think that high school sports is dead in Indiana, take a look at the crowd. This gym holds about 4,500. It's absolutely packed. There's not a seat in the house. Well, there's two seats in the house, but they'll fill up in the next couple of minutes. <laughs> Two minutes. We're inside of two. Okay. Yeah, Curtis, we're gonna go to black, so don't be don't be alarmed. Go. Okay, let me cue the bump. Of course, running in both places. So far. They're rolling the spot right now. That's okay. You got it. I got it. Okay. But you had to hold the button after we get it here. Thirty. Good luck two. Good luck four. That's a fun one, Al. Actually, good. You might get that. That's probably a great one to get in the opening, Al. Is that uh, big student section? You'll be the only good shot of it, so we'll get that too. Noblesville looks like. Ten to the break. Fun. Count me down, Curtis. Hey kiddo, stand by. And animation in. Okay, we're rocking and rolling. Stand by one, stand by announcers. Have a good one, everybody. Let's do a good game. Here come the anime. Here comes the graphic. And I'll, I'll I'm gonna come into three first. Come into three on standby. Go, go, and go. Go announcers. This go. Is Operation three, three, three. We're three, Welcome three, three. Stand by one. Hold on a second. John, I'm High School with a shamrock. Seven wins. Three. Stand by one. And one, 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 one. Run the pan. A beautiful thing. One, one, one. By Dave McCullough. Hello fans, this is Jerry Everyone Baker, three. along with Jan Stand Mosier, by. Greg Rakestraw will join us from sideline here, and welcome to the night's three Operation three. Basketball. Stand Our game two. tonight brought to you on by two. the Shelbourne Knee Center, two, two, two. World Care, right in Stand your by. backyard. Jan, big Just game tonight, a capacity for like on hand, on four. and a very important on four, on four, on four. And really is, we've got Noblesville, who's four, been in the top one. ten most of the year, and Westville, maybe Jerry, one of the hottest ball clubs around. All right. The Shamrocks at seven we're wins one. and we're four losses. We're talking about Westfield. We're going to stick on one for a minute when we do that. And two losses. You kind of throw the records out because 
This is a right, this a is a basically two. a rival. Like we just uh, take three. 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 we gotta get to the keys. Now, three and three and three. Very small has raised three. Up to four A, but they made a big statement this year. Right. Let's take a look at the keys to the game tonight. Double the keys. Number one. Number one. The Shelbourne knee center getting that place for over twenty-seven years. Two and two and two. Two and two and two. We're in tight. Russell. Stand by. Eight and zero. They'll go up the free throw line a lot. About fifteen times. One and one and one. Russell Jan. Look out for Leland Brand. Okay, we're in game, game mode. We're just going to run with it from this point. Stay low. They shoot in the upper 50s from bring it down a little bit, one. Bring it down a little bit. i got a graphic on your bottom for just a second here. We'll get it clean. Clean. You're good. Clean. Clean. You're good. Normal shot. Rock and roll. roll. Here comes the clock. Well, Westfield gets the opening tip, and we are underway. And, indeed, this is a standing room only situation. And right away, Westfield turns the ball over. So here comes Noblesville in the dark uniforms. Westfield 7 and 4, Noblesville 8 and 2. Both these ball clubs very similar in one loss records as we pointed out. Here is a uh, turnover at this end of the floor. So a turnover with each possession. They are also Jan very similar in offense, in defense and in field goal percentage. Yeah, and in scoring, both teams average right at 56.5 a ball game. The difference is Noblesville's got a little bit better defensive average than the than the Rocks do. The uh, Westfield Ball Club with Hardhauer, Norris, Bringle, Howard, and Fuller as their starting unit. They will get their first look at the hoop. It's off the mark of the rebound batted. We're gonna can the starters. Out of there okay. by Noblesville. Brown, Sitting on one. Yeary, Dinas, and Elmore. Now the starting five. Sitting tight. Head coach Dave McCullough. See how Noblesville runs this offense. They have Great shot up the there on Slash. Real well Staying on one, we're just bringing it right Noblesville back. You're clean three. I like the thought that we're going to get some of those out. Westfield's got a whole lot better at 45%. So Westfield gets the possession for the third time and still no score with a minute plus gone. You get your replay set? Yep. Okay. Show born. On Operation Basketball. Pull up in the corner. Oh, not a, we're just running here. Inside. By Leland Brown, he averages six boards per game for Noblesville. That Noble was Hill. trash. Old ball club Jan showing us what we talked about. They're just not very good. Uh, right on one. On this yeah, Leland Brown, all the way to the bucket. He typically finishes that. I'm very interested, Bacon. We'll keep our eyes. How Got a lot of crowd coming to the basket through the mic on the floor. Is there big Got a lot of tennis shoes squeaks. It sounds great. It does sound good. I can listen to it off of it here. It's nice. Down inside as soon as the ball goes down in low to Jake Yearing. Let's get some uh, crowd flavors, too, of people hitting baskets. These kids should go crazy. They are doubling down inside. This should be a good one on you, Eric. We'll throw those in now and then instead of glories on that Noblesville crowd when Noblesville sinks one. Now he's playing the rock straight up the and a tough man to man. Coach McCullough won't go away See from the man to man See Howard's tough. They're going to take it in there. Yeah, oh, the man. Man. I didn't finish. I'm right back again. With two minutes in, nothing. Over. John, you're doing a great job. As we go to the other end. Hold two, hold two. On two, on two, on two. On two, on two, on two. Stand by three, hold three. I got one. One on one on one. One on one on one. One on one on one. One on Maddox got in the first two points tonight. Gives the uh, Noblesville Millers a 2 0 lead. Curtis, hold three, hold three. Music's in. On three and three and three. On three. 
Take it, on Curtis. Three. Stand by, guys. Stand by. We're on three. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Still waiting. Clear, clear. Clear, clear. clear. Oh, this one's going fast. It is, man. It's flying like the wind. You want to explain those graphics again, Rick? Or? Uh, well, basically, what I'm doing is I've got several graphics that I use during the game, and I'll change one while the other's on the air. Since I'm doing graphics, instant replay, producing, and running audio all at the same time with just two hands. What was the time on this guy? It was about 25, 30. Did 30 get, seconds. Did you get the explanation in you wanted for the for the replays? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> just watch me on the replays, and you'll okay. see that I'm looking at camera two, three, and four here. These are live. This is what I've got queued to go to the air. You'll you'll see as I cue this thing, Matt will be taking it, and I'll be making the selection as to which one we're going to come back on. About 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven. <laughs> Come back on Five, one. Come back on one. Four. Just hold three, on to two and three. I'll make two, it two. We're on one. One. Up and you. Go, go, go. Tonight, Operation Basketball on ahead one, of the Rock two, at Westfield two. High School. As on the Westfield Shamrock, seven and four. Seven four, four in four. the current poll. Play the Millers four. of Norrisville, eight and two. They are currently four, ranked four, by the basketball four, coaches of the season. At number hold 10, three, they three. began the season on ranked three, number 20 of the basketball coaches. AP had them unranked. And uh, Dave on McCullough, two, on two, on uh, two. Oh, he's good. not quite sure what he's got. I'll be quite honest with you. He's he's one of those guys who uh, he's old school, as you pointed out. And his eight and two, a lot of coaches would love to have an eight and two record right now. Yeah, you go, coach. You're eight and two. You're tenth <laughs> in the state. Be happy. Uh, yeah. A word from, uh, from Greg with Dave. Dave, fantastic second quarter by your team. What changed from the first couple of minutes? Well, uh, we, we went to a zone. That helped. I, you know, Howard just a load inside. Thought he got a couple easy looks. We changed the zone. That helped us out. Uh, I thought Leland Brown got us going. Welcome back in Operation Basketball. Noblesville leading Westfield 21 at 211. You know, there are not many folks that put in longer days on game days than we do. The athletic director here in Bill Davis, maybe the JV coaching staff, but the student bodies not too far behind us tonight. The students for Noblesville started to get here at 5 at 30. And if you wanted to get a seat in the lower half of the Westfield student section, you had to be here by 615. Prime at real estate tonight, guys. Elmore completes it. <laughs> Oh, Ticky tack underneath. It. It's on Noblesville underneath. Oh, was it? Yeah. Hold four. Hold four. On four. It's on number three right there on your left side. On four. On four. On four. Stand by three. Wait, two. Yeah, hold two. 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 Here, 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 here it is. Look underneath. There it is. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> 101 on one. I'll tell you, has a hard job right now in a 65 37 game with these two announcers who have got to keep this entertaining. <laughs> as we um, roll into the end of the game because it would be easy for them to give up, but they're pros. Ticky tack. Jerry Baker, as a matter of fact, our announcer is in the Basketball Hall of Fame in Indiana as an announcer. Replays up. As you notice, Matt's ambidextrous. He did replays while I'm talking to you. Stand by one. One on one on one. Hold four. Two, two, two. Stand by one. One on one. Two, 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 two. Good luck, two, Brent. On one, on one, on one, two. On two, on two, and I like four. Watch four. On four, stand by one. Leland Brown, Vipe MVP. Did you get that, Leland Brown? All right, 2:45 left in the game. It's 61:37. I think I'll I'll take a minute here to probably let this all get cut out later, but. Um, just looking in front of me here, just take a minute to look at this because it's a pretty impressive amount of computing power that runs all this. You know, you look at a big CBS, NBC truck, they've got monster consoles this size doing everything that this little board and this monitor does right in front of me. And uh, 
Mr. Vanderweilen there has set up a pretty impressive setup in a very small room. As you look in front of me here, the main part, this is just a computer monitor. Still one, still one. Still on one. Oh, we'll go to four real quick. On four, you look here, this is what we're actually watching on TV. What you're watching on the broadcast, which is camera four right now. I'm about to go back to one. On one now is right up here. Over here is my preview. So whatever I'm getting ready to go to, I'll click to right up through there. So that camera lights up down here and shows me what I'm about to see down there. Very simple setup. Stay right on there. I've got all the magic transition wipes, the fly-ins, everything right here, all controlled by this board right here. I can change their directions. I can change their speeds, change this to a fade. All in front of me, all in this quick little setup. It makes it very easy to run this broadcast and, hey, and one, have a lot of fun. One thing we haven't explained and we'll, we'll tell you about is we have a foul there. No, I'm not going to put a replay. On two, on two, We've on got two. a clock here that we're controlling with a robot. On two. You see the clock four, right here? Four, this is being done through a virtual four, set four, four. in the TriCaster. Stand by one. So as an example, one, one, one. I've actually got the virtual set where I can turn on and off. Two, I've actually quick. cropped that on two. and I put it positioned correctly. One, one, one. Let me get the score right here. We just had an update, 65. So we use a lot of computing power to achieve what it is that we achieve. And normally this late in the game we don't have time to talk, but <laughs> obviously this one we do. Hold two. Hold two. On two and two and two. <laughs> you know that's not a bad move by Purple. Two. Two, two, two. Let me, see, let me just see what Brent has. Okay. I'm hanging out on two. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Bring it. Replays in. Stand by one. One on one on one. Oh, we got cotton candy on two. Cotton candy on two. On one, stand by two. Hold two. Whoops. On two, on two, on two. Stand by one. And one. And four. Four, four. Stand by one. And one. Nada. Suburbs. Stand by two for. On two, on two, on two. Stand by three. On three, on three, on three. Stand by one. On one on one on one, especially as we get to this point in the game, I really like to be able to show everybody. It's so great that the kids get this exposure, and we love being able to do this and really show these broadcasts. So the more I can get those tight shots, and the camera guys are are just phenomenal. The guys we've got up there um, right now, you got John. You're watching him on camera one. Eric's on camera two, which we're watching right there. Alan's on three, which we just saw down. And I think we're about to watch a replay from Alan. We had. Hold on, man. Let me take a look. And then you got Brent, who's down on the floor. I think nah, he's sitting nah, down tonight, nothing, but nothing. other than that, he's working pretty hard. We're sitting on one. There's, there's Brent on three sitting right on one. there. Take a look yeah. at that. Hey. One, one, one. Okay, that's ball game. We're probably going to go quick break here. Hold three. Go quick. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. Come on, get ready, Curtis. Go, 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 Curtis. Stand by, I'm on three, stand by, we're Music's on out. three, stand by, stand by, clear, okay. clear. Uh, this is no, a two-minute two, two, break. Two-minute two minute minute break, break. two-minute break. We'll come uh, We'll come back to Jerry. Jerry, throw it down to Greg. He'll have our MVP, and I don't know if he's going to have Coach Mack or not. He's got Coach, yeah, he's got Mack, Coach Mack And then, Greg, when you're done, throw it back up to Jerry and Jan for finals, okay? And then we'll throw it away. This is our last in-game break. Got three on standby cam if needs be. Oh, Brent's got it clean. Good. We're in good shape. We are coming back on one, so if you can get me something as a setup shot, John, that doesn't have um, that guy in it, you can come right or wherever you want to go. Just give me something. That's cool. I'll take that. Did you get 135.05 on your time? No. The whole thing only lasted about an hour 35, which is typical for high school basketball. So we'll get uh, cleaned up here. We're going to uh, take our digital file that we created during the event. Uh, set the in and out points, get it back to the studio, and then go to sleep and wake up tomorrow and do a college double hitter. So <laughs> we never get enough sports here at Hometown Sports Indiana.
seconds. Final three seconds. Here is Pringle turning around inside, and that's going to take care of the first quarter of play. So tonight, after one, it is Westfield 9, Noblesville 5 on Operation Basketball. And out. Trim it. Find the end point. Let's see, 25. It's just another hard day at the office, <laughs> but somehow Jan and I make this work. Somebody's got to do it. Yeah. All right, boys, you can clean up. We're leaving. <laughs> see you guys. We'll oh, see you next week. The sideline guy has to clean up, huh? All right. Let's see, you, man. Rick's got the game put into these segments. They're starting to render out. That's what it'll do on the laptop while I'm on my way back to the office. Here's my car. Let's go. See you at the office. All right, we're hooked up to the in house network. Go to the right location here and we'll start moving files to get them ready to air. Five minutes to go to the next ring of the ball game. It's all in the computer, built, ready to go. Sit back, enjoy it, and have a good time. Thanks.